we'll see how this first segment goes anyway with the uh with the mics on um is check check that mic uh josie that mic that box that was just under charlie's chair the green light is still on does that mean anything <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing yes yes okay doug doug close uh close all the crew mics please headsets are off now i'm mean, if you have anything to say save it for the break if we have to do this whole segment over again we'll do it all over again okay and uh <clears throat> All right, Doug, stand by to roll and record. Roll and record. Doug, keep everybody's mics open during the whole segment, please. We don't know when somebody's going to cut in. Cameras, be ready. Trying to listen to what they're talking about. That way you'll know where to go. Okay. Okay, stand Charlie by. Let's get ready here. We're going to come up on the still camera, Charlie's camera one. And uh, tell them tell him we're going to Fergus, Josh, then George. Fergus, Josh, then George. Then we're into the show and we'll go from there. We want to do Josie. We want to do about an eight-minute segment. Okay, just like we said, he'll count himself in. So hang on. Here we go. Stand by one. All right, speed, Doug, okay. I put everyone's mic, here we go. He'll count himself in, give him the uh, go ahead, Josie. Ready? Yep, there he goes, okay. Go. <clears throat> Let him count in, one's up. Good Sunday morning to you. It is politics in progress, and we come to you from he looks the great. beautiful Ashworth by the Sea in Hampton Beach every Sunday morning. We talk politics, local, state, national politics. That's what we do here every Sunday morning. Let me introduce our esteemed Ready one. today, the former Ready three. Republican State Party Chair Fergus. Three's up. With us. Good morning, Fergus. Hi, how are you? Next Ready two. The man in the middle. And Rogers, two's up. Public radio is with us. Good morning, Josh. Good morning, stand by three. And at the end, One's up. And stand by three. Believes, Three's up. State Party Chair and okay, his, his microphone looks Chair dumb there, George. but uh, let's just go morning. on this segment here. Ready right, one, so one's we up. We've got a lot of things we're going to try and cover this morning, so let's get right down to it. Uh, last week, we spent some time talking about the U.S. Senate race and uh, the ever-growing <clears throat> field of potential candidates, particularly on the Republican side. Okay, everything sounds good, Doug. Uh, good uh, levels. Uh, but we've had a number of names that are popping up in the District 2 congressional race. There'll be that a graphic covering this part up here, so. The latest name that came out is a man who used to hold that seat. In when he looks seat. down to Charlie read, uh, it's not anything to worry about. a run, and it looks like he may be throwing his hat into the ring for that seat. Excuse me, also, see how his shot is in your video report. return. That's the kind of shot we want. Uh, Mid-chest up, and try and make them all look the same. So Republicans on the Democratic side, Katrina Sweat, uh, Ann McLean Custer, and uh, uh, John DeJoy. So three, uh, he's probably going to go to Fergus. Yeah, he's going to Fergus related. first. Stand by three. Is seat, is he, uh, now the front Ready runner, three. Republicans Stand by three. Back. Ready three. Uh, and three, well, take. I don't think anyone's the front runner. It'll be interesting to see if this prompts more people to get Okay, in Nat, see well, uh, hey, in your monitor. So all I need to do is get three okay, hold, hold your shot, three. three. The next congressman. Once we're on, just stay on. But good lead room. I know you're covering up that, that TV showing in the background in the mirror and also the back of someone's head is showing here. So we're going to want to black out that mirror next time, too. If he leans back, it works, but we can't count on him leaning uh, that way. Ready, one? And one's up. One, one, uh, one's up. Okay. Two's up. And Thanks for being there too. I miss the. Uh, more challenging than it might seem like on paper, I miss Charlie, so that's my fault. The favorite, and the more people get in the race, presumably they're going to be getting. In Stand by the one and three. Back. Get on uh, George Charlie Bruno. The name recognition, the fact that he held that office, I mean that could count against him certainly. Uh, but you know he knows his way. Time, Doug. Three. Okay, we're three and a half. Three in anyway. 
Ready one, one's up. Come on, one. One's up and ready uh, three's up. Although, you know, Charlie Bass, I think uh, time has passed by and uh, 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 it, it's probably time for a new face in the district, which is why uh, people chose uh, 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 Hodes. Uh, over him when, when See, uh, a, unfortunately a guy with a bow tie on it looks crazy to have that clip uh, down there so we got to get uh, it up on his lapel I, I think still don't know her so uh, I, I agree with and and for some reason this guy doesn't look at the camera I don't know what he's looking at it's passes to lose on the Republican side on the Democratic side you know you've really got a, uh, a, a great lineup between Katrina sweat and uh, Annie McLean Custer uh, at this point, I'd have to give the edge to Katrina Sweat as a person who's, you know, campaigned before in the district, knows the district. Her husband was the congressman from that district. She's got a million dollars. All right, looking good. We, I mean, we can uh, fix these things as the weeks go campaign. along, but. So uh, uh, it's going to be an interesting race. Josh, on Ready the one, side, one's up. At this point, those Ready two on Josh. Two Ready two. Or Ready two. Sure. Stand by two. And to take. At this point, uh, you know, George is right. Uh, Katrina Sweat has a, a, you know, rather large bolt of cash sitting in the bank. Uh, Anne McLean Custer has. Been Nat, he's a little dark there, so we're going to move that middle. Um, well known in New Hampshire. She sent out uh, that she middle. Uh, it be interesting to see, you know, the first go. The middle light that's next to your camera. Well, we're going to bring that in about a foot well, next time because the make the even make the lighting even on that. Okay, stand by, everyone. We're more than halfway into this segment. Has some problems with the Democratic Party. I mean, you know, a lot of party lawyers. Come back to Charlie. About the sweats, uh, but we'll see. I mean, she's you know formidable uh, ca candidate certainly, and uh, you know she's got a lot of money. Uh, as for Representative DeJoy, uh, we'll see. I mean, the, the the standard line on him is you know he's a he's a, a, a firefighter and uh, or EMT, and that you know he'll do well with. Wonder if anybody knows he has sneakers uh, on. You know, thus far, it certainly looks as if. Sweat, who, Ready know, one, and one's, one's up. Well, Ready two, two's up. In her state, state, uh, US yeah, we got to get rid of that TV. Ref we get rid, rid of those reflections next time. Kind of Good shot, she though. Uh, nice well framing there too. Reporting period impressed a lot of people, and you know the ability to fundraise is a measure of how good a candidate you are, how much. I mean, I like the way his lighting way, looks. If we can make everybody look like him, that would be great. Even though the, the background, we're going to have to light the background for now. Ready one, one's up. Bass is thinking getting back into this race. Is this race going to turn as the elections of I think he's coming right back to Fergus. If you're still there, stay there to three. Go to uh, the two shot just in case. Is there a sense out there right now that we're going to go the other way and we're going to throw everybody out that has a D? Next to their name because nothing's happening in Congress and people are getting frustrated. Ready three. Certainly the Ready Aaron. Is in motion. Three's up. And, you know, in contrast to what the ambassador said earlier about the 2006 election, it didn't have anything to do with Paul Hodes. It had everything to do with George Bush and the Iraq Cameras Board. floating three. All right, Democratic hold it. Thank you. Congressman that, that year uh, defeat incumbent Republicans. But, uh, you know, Josh points out that Katrina Sweat has some challenges within the Democratic Party. She's considered a more moderate member. And the New Hampshire Democratic Party has taken a sharp turn to the left. And they could nominate a real left winger. You've got about less than two minutes, Josie. Q make sure he knows that. Ready one? One's up. Ready three? Three's up. It's nice. Three. Two shot works. Two. Get on uh, George if you can. But the fact is, every time it came up for a vote in Congress, okay. he voted the party line. And so See, I don't know what uh, he's looking at, but it would turn his chair so he's facing more square by, next time. Uh, really over the cliff, uh, uh, very ideological right-wing votes that the Republican Party One's up, up cut up away, with, coming uh, back, three's and up. And so uh, his moderation uh, really didn't display itself very often.